Tonight, our top story. Was an airstrike at a Doctors Without Borders hospital a war crime or an honest mistake? Medical humanitarian organization, Doctors Without Borders, was bombed in an airstrike on their trauma hospital in Afghanistan. Hospitals are generally protected under international combat laws. Doctors Without Borders general director, Christopher Stokes, stated that being a doctor in a war zone cannot be punishable by airstrikes. The question is, did the hospital lose its protected status? And if so, why? The strike was the 12th in a five-day period. Despite all the attacks, the hospital was fully functioning on that night. It was one of the only buildings in the city that had full electricity from generator power on the night of the airstrikes, according to an early report. The strikes, led by U.S. forces, killed at least 30 people. Patients burned in their beds and pilots shot people fleeing from the hospital. The U.S. maintains that the attack was a mistake, but Doctors Without Borders is calling it a war crime. Our next story, when Julian Hernandez decided to apply to college, he was in for the shock of his life. His name didn't match his social security number, and he found out he had been abducted 13 years ago. It was a Wednesday in August 2002, and his parents were amidst a custody battle. His father, Bobby Hernandez, was supposed to take then five-year-old Julian to preschool. Instead, he packed his son's things, emptied his savings, and escaped. He gave Julian a new name, and they lived in Cleveland, Ohio. It was only last week that the authorities caught on. Julian didn't know he was abducted, and Bobby Hernandez has since been charged with tampering with records, but has yet to be charged with his son's abduction. That's all for now. Tune in after the commercial break for sports. <laughs> Welcome back. Tonight, our top story. The Mongols have bombed Doctors Without Borders Hospital in Afghanistan. International humanitarian organization, Doctors Without Borders, was bombed in an airstrike on their trauma hospital in Afghanistan. It was the 12th strike in a five-day period. The strikes killed at least 30 people. Patients burned in their beds and pilots shot people fleeing from the hospital. Doctors Without Borders is calling it a war crime. Who would do such a thing to people who are already injured? The only logical answer, our enemy is the Mongols. The trauma center was one of the only buildings in the city that had full electricity from generator power on the night of the airstrikes, according to an early report. Being a doctor in a war zone cannot be punishable by airstrikes, said Doctors Without Borders General Director Christopher Stokes. We must unite against the forces of evil that are killing our doctors. We're just trying to help the sick and injured. Our next story, a family is reunited. After 13 long years, Julian Hernandez was reunited with his mother. Back in August 2002, his parents were amidst a custody battle. His father, Bobby Hernandez, decided to take matters into his own hands to ensure that Julian got the love and support he needed. Mr. Hernandez helped his then five-year-old son pack his things and took him away from the ugliness of the battle to somewhere where he could be safe and happy, Cleveland. It was only when Julian applied to college that his mother rejoined their family. The lieutenant of the Vestival Hills police helped them find one another. To me, he said, this is what it's all about, reuniting families. That's all for now. Tune in after the commercial break for sports.